Today, I'm going to introduce topology independent in service software upgrade in Juniper QFX 5100 switch. After the talk, I will also run a lab test to demonstrate the performance of ISSU on QFX 5100. ISSU should be a familiar concept to the people in the network industry. It upgrades the operating system in networking device switch routers while the system is up running and continue forwarding the package. Traditionally, this can be successively done on a large modular chassis system with identical dual routing engines occupied the two physical slots. In a single RE system, some vendors try to reload the single RE during the upgrade in the hope that traffic is continuously forwarded. But this brings up some challenges that, first, even if it works, without the RE, the traffic is forwarded blindedly. Secondly, this approach has very limited protocol support requires very restrict topology support. Typically, it can only be done in a pure layer 2 topology with many restrictions. In addition, during the reset, the system is exposed without any control plane functions. So this typically lasts 3 to 5 minutes. So frankly, this is not a real SSU. Now, advanced Juno's architectures has really changed it and bring the true SSU to the top of rack 1RU switch. So this is how that can be done. In QFX 5100, Junos actually run on one of the virtual machines, which runs on top of the KVM hyperweather with center OS, which in turn runs over the actual physical switch hardware. So similar to x86 virtualized platform, this Junos virtualization architectures virtualize the operating system of the switch and make it possible to enable many advanced functions that is not possible in a traditional switch. You can do SSU with this uh, architecture. It's going to be a true topology independent SSU. You can run other Juniper applications on one of these uh, VMs. You could also run the third party applications on the virtual machines too. This is actually what happens when the SSU is performed. Before launch SSU, current Juno's virtual machine, let's call it master, control the hardware, the PFE, the FRU, and the system. So all devices are managed by this one RE. Then the master issues upgrade command. The system launched the new Junos VM with the new software as a backup. Then all system state are synchronized to the new backup Junos. The PFE control is hard moved from the current master to the backup Junos. Backup will become the master and take over the control of the system. Then stop the original Junos VM. So now you know the theory and architecture. Here is the actual procedures to do it. So you download the image from Juniper support site. SSU is supported starting from 13.2 x51-d15.5 release. So you need to configure GRES, graceful routing engine switch over, non-stop routing, and non-stop bridging. Uh, just follow the CLI showing on the screen. And don't forget commit the change after the configurations. Then you only need one command to perform the SSU, which is request system software in service upgrade, then give the image locations. This is the topology I'm going to demonstrate as SSU. As you can see from previous architecture slides, QFX 5100 supports true topology independent SSU. It can be used in layer 2, layer 3, or mixed layer 2, layer 3 topology. In this demo, I configured QFX 5100 running layer 2 OSPF BGP routing protocols. Spirant is used as a traffic and protocol simulators to generate 100 host, 10,000 eBGP routes, and 2,000 OSPF routes. The bidirectional traffic is running over those protocols. So this is a OSPF, BGP, and the layer 2 configurations I put on the QFX 5100 in this demo. So you can just uh, uh, use the CLI showing on the screen to replicate the test. So let's look at the actual test itself. So here is the Aspirant test center windows. So I have used the six interface. Two of them are in uh, layer 2 configurations and two of them are in the OSPF, and two of them are running you know, BGPs. On the traffic generators, I have the bidirectional traffic running over those uh, protocols. As you can see under the OSPF, I have uh, interface 3 and 4 are running OSPF. They uh, establish the full relationship with uh, their OSPF uh, neighbor. And on the BGP, interface uh, 5 and 6, they established uh, the BGP neighbor relationship with our BGP peers, uh, with our QFX 5100 peers. So we can also look at uh, OSPF and uh, BGP routes uh, from the switch. 
So on the switch, we can do show uh, OSPF uh, neighbor details. The OSPF neighbor is already uh, up to three days. And if we do show ROT uh, summary, it tells us there is a 12K ROT on the switch. Actually, 10K of them is from BGP and 2K is from OSPF. So now we can start uh, ISSU. To save some time, the image is already copied to the switch. Uh, we just need to issue the SSU command. But before we do the SSU, let's just uh, start uh, traffic so we can uh, measure the traffic loss during the SSU. So let's go to the traffic stream block. And as you can see, the traffic stream is already configured for the layer 2 SPF and the BGP protocols. I'm going to start uh, traffic. And uh, then on the switch, we just uh, do a request system uh, software uh, in service upgrade give the image uh, location hit return so now the SSU start so for the SSU itself it's only required as a one single command to start the SSU so now we're gonna wait a little bit and uh, we come back uh, to check the result I'm coming back. I think uh, SSU is done. Let's check it out. Yes, it is done. So we log in again. So let's check uh, OSPF neighbor. Okay, but there's no flapping. The OSPF neighbor is up uh, again more than three days. Let's show a uh, summary. It's 12K ROTs. It's also present on the system. So this is great. It uh, looks like uh, we got successful SSU. There's no neighbor flaps. And also we can check BGP as well. Show uh, BGP neighbor uh, match. Uh, sorry. OK, there's no BGP neighbor flaps. So now we can stop the, the traffic. And here is the number of the package transmit. Here is the number of package uh, received. We just uh, do a mess and uh, fill up the, the table on the slides. So I have run multiple iterations. On each iteration, the traffic outage over layer 2, OSPF, and the BGP protocols are recorded. On the first iteration, uh, the layer 2 traffic has only 2.8 millisecond outage. For the OSPF is 2.3, BGP is 2.7. So this is a really good result. So far I have demonstrated the SSU on a one layer topology with a packet over layer 2, OSPF, and the BGP protocols. So we can use that result as a baseline to compare the SSU result we will get in this three layer end-to-end -end topology. So here as you can see, the BGP OSPF protocols is running across all these three layers data traffic will be sent on top of this uh, protocols uh, across those uh, three KFX 5100. And similar skills, a similar setup from the uh, traffic and the protocol generator will be used, uh, which is 10K BGP rods, uh, 2K OSPF rods, and 100 host. Uh, so when we do the SSU, so all the switch will perform uh, SSU simultaneously in the whole topology. So think about that. You can potentially upgrade your entire DC network simultaneously with uh, ISSU. Let's take a look at the extra test itself. So here is the uh, Spartan test center windows. As you can see, uh, the exactly same test setup will be used on this uh, three-layer topology uh, SSU. Uh, we have the uh, OSPF, BGP, the layer 2 traffic. So now uh, let's just start the traffic, then we can start SSU. So the traffic is starting. So here is um, the console go to the switch. The, to save the time, the, the image already copied to the switch and the configuration is already there. Um, let me just hit return for this one, this one, and the third one. So now SSU is kicked off. Uh, I'm gonna uh, take a short break, uh, grab a, a cup of coffee. We'll be back to check the result. Looks like the SSU is finished. Let's go back to the test center, stop the traffic.
All right, uh, so let's count the package and uh, see uh, uh, what the traffic outage. Here is a test result based on the test I just did earlier. Just for the comparison, I also list the result from one layer SSU test. You can see in table one, one layer topology, the traffic outage is about 2.2 to 2.8 millisecond. In table two, you can see in a three layer topology with bidirectional end-to-end -end data traffic running over dynamic routing protocols. The traffic outage is only around 6 or 7 milliseconds. Those are excellent results. So just think about that. You can upgrade the whole data center switching infrastructure live without any application downtime with QFX 5100. So this concludes our SSU demonstration. Thank you for your time.